welcome to another edition of Travel Starts FAQ Friday with me, Nick Paul. So last week we were asked the following by Peter. It baffles my brain if I look at the various airlines' airport taxes they charge. Please explain to me how Emirates can be so cheap and let's say Thai Airways charge more for taxes than the flight ticket. I don't believe the difference can be so big. This is a great topic, so let's see if we can clear it up a bit. First we have to admit that the term tax is probably a misleading one, as only some of the fees on the ticket which make up the taxes are in fact tax. The airlines usually include fees levied by the airport, such as passenger levies, or fees levied by the government, such as security fees or departure taxes. These are usually set per passenger. It's only if you're traveling locally in South Africa that government will actually charge you VAT on the fare. But then comes the biggest whopper, the fuel surcharge. This is a fee which is usually worked out in US dollars and is determined by the airline in question for each of its routes. Now once upon a time, and those of you who were traveling in the 90s can vouch for this, flight ticket taxes were only a couple of rands, if anything at all. You were still paying the fuel surcharge, but it was part of the fare and didn't change very often. Then something called 9-11 happened and the world went into panic mode with fuel prices skyrocketing with the threat of war looming. A few airlines saw both some growing problems and a very obvious solution. The first problem was that fares loaded into booking systems were loaded long in advance, with airlines having little ability to change them at short notice. The second problem was for tickets bought on frequent flyer miles. These usually meant the fare, with the fuel surcharge included, was free, and that the passengers only paid the taxes. But with the fuel price going up, the airline saw their profits going down. The solution was simple. Seeing as everyone has to pay taxes and they can be changed at the drop of a hat, they moved the fuel surcharge to the taxes and adjusted it as needed. This started the trend of taxes quickly becoming larger than the fares themselves. Today a fare to London and Lufthansa can cost you only 100 Rand, plus over 8,500 Rand in taxes. Many unscrupulous travel agents continue to advertise fares without taxes, which drove consumers mad. On a side note here, all of Travel Start's fares contain the flight ticket taxes in full. One by one, airlines moved over to the system and began charging less and less for fares and more and more for taxes. All airlines except one that is, Emirates. Emirates is the last remaining full service international airline which still keeps its fuel surcharge in the fare, meaning that on a ticket to London, Emirates taxes can be over 6,000 Rand less than the next airline, even though the total price might be more or less the same. So to answer Peter's question, that would be the reason why taxes on Emirates were so much lower than on Thai. Just note that this doesn't automatically mean that Emirates tickets will be cheaper than another airline, so always refer to the total price for clarification. Please remember to subscribe to our channel to get more of these updates, and if you've got any travel-related questions, please ask them in comments below. Who knows, next week we may make it into a video.